share this because I think other authors and aspiring authors and writers um, sometimes benefit from seeing how other people do what they do. And I shared a video like this, and I heard that it was making the rounds of certain uh, little writing groups and stuff. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. You know, I kind of wanted to share it just to sort of show you my process or, or kind of how I do what I've been doing. And evidently, I got some good feedback. And I don't have a particular lesson I want to give you today, but I, I more or less wanted to say that when I'm working on a book, I, I have sort of a process. So I'm in, a, I'm in an interesting spot right now with my book. I... Uh, got some advice that maybe I had two big ideas in this book and I was told, you know what, maybe one book, one idea, don't don't go crazy with this. And I thought, you know what, you're totally right. I, I have to do this differently. And so I'm back to, you know, writing it into just one idea. And so I had to kind of like strip what I had already written and now I'm sort of recreating it again. So I copied the first five chapters into a new folder and now I'm going through to see what, if anything, can I salvage. And at first I was like, oh, I'm going to have to start at page one again. And I was miserable, but I don't. Um, chapter one and two are very, very copyable. I think it was chapter three. Three is a goner. Chapter four and five are very copyable as well. So one thing I want to say is that you have to be willing to scrap things. Um, I'm notorious for it. In all of the books I have ever written, I almost always write about 100 pages that get destroyed and thrown away just because they're not right uh, for the book. And it's my process. I mean, I guess I would wish I didn't have to write the 100 pages and throw them away because that's a lot of time, but it just always seems to be the way it goes. So one lesson I did today, this is again, this is business, it's nonfiction, you know, these things apply differently for different kinds of writing. But one thing I did today was I was like, okay, so what if I had to kind of sum this thing up, I have a main premise part where I sum up parts of the book. And then I said, what if I, you know, how, how would I even like, market this, like, if I were going to market to a company and say, hey, company, this is the change I kind of want you to make or whatever. What's that even look like? So my very first take at that is this, where I said, break through the noise, make a new type of content that connects and serves and help your customers win. And that's sort of like the, the catchphrases or whatever, the, the, the marketing ease of how I'm going to talk about it. But then what are my three primary premises of the book? Well, today as I'm writing this, because it's already changed like five times in the last day and a half, customers want companies to join their story, not the other way around. Tiny media brings you to the customer instead of having to push the customer to you. I like that one. Number three, customers don't always need content, but they always need an opportunity to connect. And so in doing that and sort of having those three things in front of me now, when I go and I write my chapters, I can sort of make my way through this all and say, does this apply to this? Does this apply to this? If I were a company reading this book, would I go, oh, okay, now I get what you're saying. This is going to matter and all that sort of a thing. And that's kind of how I push myself forward. The other uh, thing is one of the big pieces of feedback I got from my friend Clay A. Bear, he said, you know, you have to have an idea that's bold enough that people want to take a look at the idea, but you also have to have an idea that someone can bring to their boss and say, hey, boss, I want to do this, or that a boss can bring to their subordinates and say, hey, team, I want to do this. So I got a very beautiful, beautiful gift today. I got a chance to have a phone call with someone who needs some business help in exactly the space I know most how to do what I need know how to do. This person and I have known each other for 13 or more years, uh, but have not worked together professionally. We've just been in the same industries in different parts of it and things like that. We just know each other from around, let's say it like that. And I really admire this person. I've been a big fan for 13 years. He said to me, hey, I really need some help with my company. What do you think? And as I'm talking to him about it, it was really exciting because I was able to talk in the language of my book about what he's working on. And so I really liked the opportunity to test it. And I guess that's a, a really important lesson is as you're working on your book, keep thinking, is this a living thing? Is this a testable thing? Is this a real thing? Can I communicate this with people? And if so, can I do it without very specific dogma? There's a mix of advice I want to give you right now, and it's going to sound contradictory because it sort of is. On the one hand, you need to say things that are memorable. On the other hand, you also have to be able to talk to a six-year-old about it. You've got to do something where you're not mar married to any one very specific way of phrasing something, but you use that phrase to help package an idea so that people can take the idea with them. It's an idea I've been talking about since, I think, 06 or so. Give your ideas handles 
which is to say, make it so someone can pick up this idea and take it with them. So when I talk about these ideas of tiny media, I say customers want companies to join their story, not the other way around. That's so easy for you to walk with. You know, tiny media brings you to the customer instead of having to push the customer to you. That's, you know, that one takes a little bit more explaining, but it will be easy. Uh, customers don't always need content, but they always need an opportunity to connect, you know. That's, that's kind of a given, like in a way I'm saying something that's not especially new. In the writing process, while I'm writing this, while I'm putting this together, I've learned that I need to be a lot more fearless. I need to be a lot more bold in how I approach this, but I also need to make this just so accessible so that any business person who's gonna take this and run with it feels like it's a real practical piece of material that's gonna move them forward, that it's like software, that it'll allow them to program their next move or whatever. That's what I wanted to share with you. Let me know if this is useful or not. I'm putting these up kind of in the blind, but I have other stuff I could do. So let me know if you want me to do this or not.